Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Faraz and I'm today super duper excited to tell you that the Power Query Editor for the Mac is finally here. So if you're using Excel for the Mac and if you're missing this functionality now, you don't need to worry. You have that editor place now. So all you need to do is get into that Office Insider and how to enroll for Office Insider I have already showed in my video. So you can feel free to check that. Here we have this version which is 22.04. 1904 so make sure that you get this version and if you have this version definitely uh, you are having that editor so let's go to data and see that wonderful get data experience so you have the get data uh, you can just click on launch editor so you get this editor that was pretty quick you know so let's go and click on get data source let's click on excel uh, so right now there are only two connectors what I can see are available uh, text file and Excel and maybe Microsoft is Definitely they are going to bring those other connectors what are in Windows also for the Mac. So let's select this uh, Let's go over here and let me select this file which I created for this video uh, Sales record for power query and I'm just going to select the January record and instead of heading on load I'm going to click on next so that will jump me to the query editor now it has nicely done that transformation step and what i love about it is that they are giving this nice icon which is pretty neat i really love this icons uh, the way how they are looking over here so i'm quickly going to do one transformation just right click remove other columns and uh, let me uh, just expand it yes expand this column and then what we would like to do we would just like to use our first row as my headers and just make sure that the country column is not here because i know my data how it looks so here it has applied that filter and let me group by it group by the country and let's count the rows here yeah, by the countries so these are the number of transactions has been done you can do some other transformation as well but for this video i'm just keeping it very simple and let me show you the view over here and uh, the view which is over here you have a script view uh, if you just off this and query view so you get the entire query you can see over here uh, which has been uh, done right now you can see all that steps and in fact you have that advanced editor as well so that advanced editor also looks nice and when you click on the step uh, script so it will just give you the script of that active step which is uh, you have selected so this is how it looks over here and the schema over here which i liked it very much so let me remove the step and it has automatically added the so schema view is exactly like you have this data view and you have that column views what are there so let's say that if i would like to have this duplicate of this column uh, I can just click on this three dots and I can just change it or I can just do any kind of uh, transformation which I would like to do. I can move it to the end, move it to the beginning. Uh, so I find this very helpful and uh, I'm pretty sure that this would be really handy when I'm dealing with a um, lot of columns. So this would really help me and you get a key column so if you have defined any column let me show you an example over here so let's say that you have let me switch back to the data view in fact you can switch your data view from here also so you can see that show data view in the corner and you have the schema view so i selected this data view i selected this column go to transform and make this as a key column so now once you make this key column and when you go to your schema view so it will show it in the schema that key country is a key and uh, if you like to search amount so it's going to search and give you all that matching combinations of the column so reset this view this would be really handy and really lovely and let's go back over here and refresh it and you can see that it has taken just 0 0.56 seconds to do that transformation so let me go and show you this view again and here it is so 0.3 seconds it has just taken to do all this transformation now coming over here you have this merge queries so this is really beautiful i just really love it so if you have another table 
and if you just like to merge them then this shows that how you can merge them so this looks really lovely really beautiful i just loved it and then you have for the append queries also uh, you, it's the, exactly the same experience what you have it in windows version but merge query i just love this one the the way they have put it up uh, the joins you can really understand what is going to happen when you select that join so this is really cool what i found it then when you come over here uh, as i showed you about the script view then you have this column profiling uh, you can i have just set it up this column profiling as my my personal preference so you can just disable this you can enable it and you can just keep the things what you like to always see now coming again i'm going to do the group by country and i'm going to count it and let me quickly go and load the data so once i click on close and load you can see how quick that was that transformation it was really amazing that um, it has just taken just hardly seconds to uh, transform that and get it over here now the only thing what i found is missing at the moment is that once you click on close and load you're not getting the option of whether you want it to be as a connection or you would like to put it as a pivot table or you just it just throw it as a table on your worksheet so uh, and then from there you can go and create your pivot tables but maybe in the future they are going to bring that and soon it would work with the power query for the mac as well now if you'd like to go and back and do some transformation you just go need to go to data go and click on launch editor you are back on your editor and if you ask me that whether for us the queries what i created on the windows were you able to edit it yes you can do that editing now before i end my video let me tell you that this power query editor what we have seen is still is in beta version it's not a production copy okay so it's still in beta there might be some kind of bug which might be not working so make sure that you go to the smiley icon and you can report to Microsoft that something is not working. Make sure that you describe their problem correctly. Include the screenshot so that they can have a clear view that what you're trying to explain and add your email address. They might get back to you on your feedback. So just do this. This would be really helpful. And if you would like to give your positive feedback to Microsoft, make sure that you go and say I like something about it. So. It works all the way and even you can write it in the video comment description and let me know how you are feeling about this new experience of power query editor on the mac i would really love to hear your feedback if you're going to give me any feedback i would be really happy to take it to my microsoft team from my side and i want to really get my hands dirty with this now and i'll be seeing you soon in my next video and if you have any queries let me know in the comment section i'll be very happy to answer you on that Till then, take care, happy learning, see you soon in my next video, take care, bye.